I was never interested in coaching until the reality of trying to find something and the reality of, of finding my passion, finding uh, purpose. And, and there's no question that coaching was my purpose, my passion. I wanted to influence and impact players the way uh, my college coaches had influenced and uh, impacted my life. Well, obviously, um, Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Being influenced uh, by the Holy Spirit, uh, being influenced by the person of Jesus, uh, being influenced by my Heavenly Father. Uh, right now, uh, that's, that's a priority in my life. Uh, coaching, uh, in college, uh, that, that was a, a, a primary source and I felt like I kind of used God to help me be successful in coaching. And uh, when I retired, uh, I wanted to just give my life, give all that I have left um, uh, for the glory um, of the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. You can't coach unless you have a very willing uh, wife, a wife that wants to get involved uh, with your coaching, wants to get involved with your players. Uh, and my wife is, is a great, my wife Becky is a great uh, coach's wife. And, and in all reality, it, she was the first one to put the idea uh, in my mind that I should coach. She loves uh, our children, being around the players, being around the team, our, our family, um, my family has, has been a part of every team that I've coached and they feel like they're a team member. <laughs> well, I've got three children, I've got three grandchildren um, and I got a lot, I got 30 years worth of football sons and that to me uh, what coaching is all about is, is my relationship uh, with my players.